good morning guys in today's video we are going to talk of course about the bitcoin price we are going to talk about if satoshi just moved his bitcoins or did satoshi move Greg white's bitcoins i feel very sorry guys that i need to tell you that one of the dear members of our community ben aka actual advice btc on twitter um, has passed away in thailand yesterday um, sorry to hear this all the strength to the friends and family that lost a dear one of course talking about the bitcoin price how this five percent drop should not be freaking you out the biggest news ever in the last year guys is that now one million businesses can start to accept bitcoin and thousands of other cryptocurrencies i'm going to give you some advice how you could start traveling the world and make a living while you travel and have this beautiful freedom life tell you a little bit about the difference between a segwit or a legacy wallet and I'm also going to educate you about stable currencies because that was an, a question from the audience. Enjoy this video on this beautiful beach here in Koh Phangan, Thailand. If you enjoy it, please remember, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share it with your communities. <music> morning guys from my beautiful office in Koh Phangan. jump into this beautiful office yes my own office again in front of my house yesterday another beautiful beach today my normal office and tomorrow maybe another beautiful place maybe this time something different than a beach beautiful nature or a temple or whatever Thailand has to show us it's a very cloudy day we had a storm last night I think it's all part of this huge cyclone around India that's uh, the next couple of days cloudy a little bit cooler maybe some rain but then again you can also dance in the rain as my kids always love to do I will start the day guys with some sad news because we have lost a very loved member in space his name is Ben also known as actual advice BTC on Twitter and um, he supposedly died here in Thailand the same country I am at the moment with the lockdown and um, he was a guy in space that was really loved he did some real cool moves he was a huge trader he moved millions of dollars of worth of Bitcoin in the trading landscape and that is what you can see in Twitter the strength of the crypto community everybody is expressing its feeling on Twitter um, even uh, CZ from Binance, you know, um, Armstrong from Coinbase, all these guys know each other. Um, sad to hear that we lose these people at these young ages. Well, they have built up this beautiful industry. Rest in peace, Ben, and all the strength to all the family and friends that have lost a beautiful character in this space. It is a reminder to me, and it should be a reminder to all of you out there, like my kids love to say it, YOLO, you only live once. You never know when you die. You can die young, you can die old. But it doesn't really matter if you just live the life to the fullest every day of your life. Because then at least when you die, you had a hell a lot of fun in living life. And you just made the best of it without too much stressing and all these things that just ruin the fun of life so guys just remember you only live once live life to the fullest yes i will talk about the bitcoin price as well uh, normally i start with it but i think uh, the death of a person is way more important than the price of bitcoin and there is one more thing i want to talk to you guys about before i go uh, further with the bitcoin price it will only take a few minutes but just hang in because the price is also some interesting news but guys yesterday that is why i love this space all this excitement all this drama because 50 bitcoins were removed from a wallet that hasn't been touched for 11 years these bitcoins were one of the early mined bitcoins in the period satoshi mined bitcoins as well it even was mined in a block between two blocks that were mined by Satoshi. So many people were speculating, wow, Satoshi is moving his Bitcoins. And um, yes, that could be true, but we don't know for sure. But it's so cool that there was a hodler, a real hardcore hodler, <laughs> that hodled his Bitcoins for more than 10 years, guys. A part of the uh, 50 bitcoins was moved to a SegWit address 
which made a lot of people ask me, Didi, what is a SegWit address? Uh, guys, you need to understand there are two types of Bitcoin addresses. You have the SegWit uh, addresses and you have the pre-SegWit, which is the legacy addresses. Um, very technical story, but it started with legacy addresses and then it evolved to a SegWit address um, so that more transactions could fit in a block. What is the important thing for you guys to understand? The, if you use a SegWit address, uh, you will probably have lower fees in sending your Bitcoins. How do you see the difference between a SegWit or a legacy address? You can just see it by the number. If you see a Bitcoin wallet starting with this three or BC1, then you're talking about a SegWit wallet. All the other ones are just legacy wallets. I still huddle Bitcoins in a legacy wallet as well. And I also huddle Bitcoins in a SegWit wallet because indeed the fees are a little bit lower. So it's more usable if you want to send small amounts of Bitcoin all over the world. The beautiful part of this story is that probably is not Satoshi that moved these Bitcoins because if Satoshi would move Bitcoins, he would probably move a little bit more Bitcoins. And no, these 50 Bitcoins didn't crash the Bitcoin price with 5%, but we will come back to that in a few minutes. The other part of this story I want to talk to you guys about is that Crack Ride is in this lawsuit. I think it's the 6th of July or something. He needs to go to court to prove that he has access to these Bitcoin wallet addresses he gave to court. Let it be a coincidence <laughs> that one of the addresses that Greg Wright stated to be his was the address that now was used to send these 50 Bitcoins. So this is becoming a very exciting, dramatic story. Because what if Greg did move these Bitcoins to prove in court that he can? You know, so he's just preparing his case and then he goes to court and he says, here, she, I just moved them. I sent 50 Bitcoins from the address I told you that I could send them. So all the other addresses that I said, send you in the list are also mine. Or it will prove Crack Wright doesn't have access, you know, to that uh, wallet address because it was moved by somebody else. Either way, it will be a beautiful turn in the whole I am a Satoshi story of Craig. So let's see what will happen to this beautiful story of Craig's Bitcoin wallet addresses. We don't want to know who Satoshi is. Satoshi will be a hero in history that has provided us of the beautiful tools of blockchain and Bitcoin to set the decentralize and disrupt the monetary system and to decentralize the world. So let's just not find out who he is and let this guy have a beautiful life while enjoying his bitcoins he mined in the early days okay the bitcoin price guys yes sorry i didn't start this time with the bitcoin price but you know these two things were very trending and news good morning <laughs> and so now i'm going to continue with the bitcoin price yes we saw a drop in the bitcoin price of five percent yesterday from 9900 you know this was the resistance we were testing it fell down to 9001 or 9300 i think somewhere in that area but we are now back at 9500 again um, maybe it was a combination of testing this resistance with um, all the drama around satoshi moving his bitcoin and people starting to be afraid that now bitcoin could really crash to zero this is a small pullback and you don't stress about these small movements zoom out learn to zoom out this is very important in in bitcoin if you want to live this bitcoin trading life then you need to learn to zoom out and not freak out there's a difference zooming out gives you this rest in your mind and freaking out stresses your mind <laughs> remember that one and we found support at the 20 day moving average um, we still are above the 20 day moving average which is an important line and if you look at this chart you can even see we are above this beautiful trend line that is moving upwards um, you know i don't see any reason to start freaking out guys we are still fighting the same fight we need to break the 10k resistance which won't be easy um, but guys we, we just need to try and if it doesn't work and if it doesn't happen just keep in mind we can always move in this range where we have been moving from 10k to 8k back to 10k you know let's see what happens but please don't freak out too much if you are freaking out then you are probably invested with too much of your money 
then just reduce the amount of the investment so you don't stress too much about your investment way bigger news guys way bigger news for me this is the most important news i have heard about this industry in the last few months maybe year i like this news so much this is i think the most bullish news when it comes to mass adoption shopify just started to work together with coin payments huh what does this mean this means that now more than 1 million businesses online businesses and offline businesses are able to accept direct payments of bitcoin and more than thousand other cryptocurrencies more than 800,000 online stores are built on the shopify shopify technology shopify is the third largest store in the us after amazon and ebay this is a huge a huge move because they now provide the tool to accept bitcoin for all their stores so everybody that has built his store or business on shopify can now accept bitcoin litecoin ethereum dash monero as a payment for the goods they are selling now people can start to really use bitcoin even more we are talking about 1 million businesses in more than 175 countries around the world how big do you want to have it this is mass adoption this is what makes me happy this is what should make you all over there happy not the five percent drop of bitcoin this the increase of 1 billion businesses now able to accept Bitcoin this should make you the most happy guy or woman because we have a lot of women in space now this should make you the most happy guy of woman in the world because this 5% drop is nothing the 1 million increase of businesses now able to accept Bitcoin is huge this is the difference between the wealth accumulating oriented people in this industry and the adoption oriented people in this industry i just want to educate you to become part of both of these groups yes you can accumulate wealth but please make sure you're also part of this drives the mass adoption of crypto and this is now why this news needs to be on the front page of every news publishing website not the sixth or the seventh article in small letters it needs to be the headline article one million businesses now accept bitcoin that needs to be the line i think i will use that shouting line as my thumbnail clickbait text today <laughs> i had a question uh, from the audience this guy was asking me didi is it even safe to trust teeter us dollar teeter or Pax or die let it let me tell you this I have been investigating all these currencies a little bit and yes if you look at these they are all centralized cryptocurrencies okay they all are packed to the dollar so that means they always have the value of one dollar about the value of one dollar it's centralized so this is not my favorite aspect of a cryptocurrency to be centralized it needs to be decentralized the only decentralized one at the moment i think is dai dai is also built on ethereum and is backed up by smart contracts in ethereum two dollars dai is the most decentralized version but the dai is not the most used version because it's not um, accepted on every exchange so that is why most people will be using us US dollar Titor or USDC or um, Paxel. If you ask me, can I trust these currencies? Then I ask you the same question. Can I trust the dollar? Can I trust the euro? Can I trust the Thai baht? Can I trust the Venezuelan Bolivar? Can I trust the Zimbabwe dollar? However it's called. I trust the US dollar theater, the Paxful, the DAI, all these central and decentralized stable coins way more than fiat currency. Even if they are centralized at the moment, a few of them, um, I think they will be trying to push this uh, crypto industry more than the normal fiat 
You know, I think the people that started these centralized versions of a cryptocurrency, the stable currencies, um, started with the ma same mindset um, in this industry of blockchain and, and crypto to disrupt the monetary system because we don't want to have full control by 1% of the world. And I think these stable currencies are now decentralizing this control. So yeah, for me, I would always use the stable cryptocurrency because you know why would i want to go to a bank another question a lot of people are asking me how do you do it how how could i work online travel the world and have this life you're living with your family because i need a job i need to stay in my hometown and work there and, and you know provide and have money to pay the mortgage and all that stuff no you don't you don't Let, let's take the news of today coinbase just uh, Brian Armstrong of Coinbase just said guys I want you all to work from home he's even shutting down one of the big offices I think in San Francisco and now opening 10 small offices all over the world where you could check in if you want to work from your office but he sees the future the same way that Google and many other companies saw the future and people just working from home Twitter is doing the same Twitter is also saying guys now because of all this covid please work from home and they will all now see how efficient it is to have no huge buildings and all these employees just work very happily and very efficient from home so happy people will always have a better output in work than unhappy people so i think these companies now and uh, coinbase twitter Google, they are all leading this uh, decentralized working from home. Morning. Morning, how are you? Very good, how are you? I'm <laughs> so these um, are all supporting this uh, nomad life. If so if you want to live this life we are living without all the risky, volatile, all-in Bitcoin mentality we have, just apply for a job at Coinbase or at Twitter and just ask them, can I work from home? And then you just travel the world and yes, you keep working. You work every day like eight hours and the rest of the day you spend on the beach or other beautiful locations. So many possibilities. Don't think inside the box, always think outside the box. Thinking outside of the box will tremendously increase the opportunities. And this is not the only way to make a, to make a living while traveling. Guys, this new virtual world. I've been talking about this virtual world now for a few times because I see my kids going into these Minecraft and all these worlds. This virtual industry is now about 2.5 billion people. 2.5 billion people are in this industry. So there are many jobs, many jobs in this virtual world industry as well. You can be a content creator, which makes money. You can even be an online farmer that makes money. Like, for example, people in Venezuela, the average uh, income every month is like seven dollars if they make forty dollars a month in a virtual environment by growing crops or whatever in this virtual life in decentralized or crypto voxels or you know minecraft then they will make five times as much as their normal salary by doing a normal job in venezuela so this is why these virtual worlds and the jobs connected to these virtual worlds worlds are exploding there are people making six-figure salaries in these virtual worlds. You have asset creators, you know, the people that design shoes or jackets or a new sword or whatever furniture. There are guys that make like $120,000 a year. You don't need to have an office to do this. You just travel with a beautiful laptop. There are many, many more ways than you have been taught in a traditional schooling system. That was all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video again. Give it a thumbs up, please. Um, subscribe to the channel. Um, click this bell button so you'll be notified on every new video. We are almost there. We almost have 4,000 followers. We need to, about 150 more followers to break the 4K resistance. So please help us. Please tell all your friends and family, go and follow this beautiful family on YouTube because they try to educate you not only about life and show beautiful pictures of beaches, but also educate you about Bitcoin and the future of money. Uh, and before I go guys, yes, the contest of two t-shirts is still on. You need to share one of my videos, tag two friends in it, 
and with a small text what a cool video or something like this i wish you an amazing time live life to the fullest every day day in day out and see you tomorrow again from another beautiful place on Copangan. bye